So we've got 10 exercises this evening, focusing on your core. It's going to take about 15 minutes or so to do the first section, and then we'll do a quick finisher. So uh, once you've finished your warm up, you can use Mikey's warm up video or just do a general warm up. You're going to be doing a hip bridge, so I'll show you that one first. Everything's going to be 30 second holds. So that's your hip bridge, just pushing the hips up towards the city, then uh, squeezing the glutes. Then you've got your iron butterflies, so you're going to be sitting up for your iron butterflies, bringing your knees in. I'll just show you from the side. Arms locked out straight. Emphasizing the core again. Then you're going to go onto your plank. Your plank, shoulders and hips are level, strong core, tense of the tummy. Then you're going to move on to a flutter kick. So your flutter kicks, hands under the back, alternate the legs, keep your heels off the floor. Just show you from the sides again. Keeping those heels off the floor. Press ups are next. So you can do a full body press up chest to the floor. Or you can do modify with your knees down if you need to. Then you're going to move on to sit ups. And you're going to back injury, do knee slides. So your sit up, you're coming up to the top, you can lock your toes in if you need to. And we're looking for touching the floor or touching the toes. If you're going to be doing knee slide on that one, you need to slide the palms up onto your knees. Okay? Then you're going to go on to sliders. I'll stay on the side for this again just to show you. So you're aiming for the ankles each time. This is going to work your obliques. Then you're on to a mountain climber. Mountain climber, you bring those knees in under the body. Last two are side planks. So side planks are for your oblique muscles at the side. So you hold straight up. Show you from the side maybe. Okay, so nice straight line under the body. Keep your hips off the floor. All of these exercises, you're going to spend 30 seconds on each one. You're going to do three rounds. So I'm going to get the clock started there. And we're in position. First one's glute bridge. Okay, everyone get themselves on the floor. And off we go. Squeezing the glutes. You can hold straight at the top, or you can do it as reps if you like. So if we're doing reps, or up and down. Pushing those hips up at the top, and we're squeezing the glutes. So, 30 seconds is fine, okay? I'll just do a normal hold now, just straight up. Toes off the floor. Squeezing the glutes. Pushing those hips up. Okay, then you're straight into iron butterflies. So the iron butterfly, your heels stay off the floor, your arms are kept straight. You can also just do this as a hold if you're struggling with it, okay? I'll show you this from the side. So anyone that's finding this one hard, can also be done as a hold. It's really good for your hip flexors to loosen them out. And you just hold the position with the arms. If you're doing the full iron butterfly, your knees are coming in and out each time. Okay? Plank is next. Straight into it. Shoulders and hips are level, knees off the floor. Really strong core on this one. You're tense on the tummy. At this stage, 30 seconds of the plank should be pretty doable for everyone in the group. So make sure you're keeping those knees off the floor. Avoid having your bum up in the air. If you want to make it more challenging, shift the weight forward from the hips and that'll challenge your upper abs as well. Okay, we're on floor kicks, lying on our backs. Okay, heels off the floor, straight leg, trying to bend the knees, if you have to bend the knees you can, but try and do a straight leg and point the toes. That's good, keep those heels off the floor. Okay, we're on to press ups next, so full body, chest to the floor. Hands should be in line with your chest. Sorry, hands in line with your shoulders, chest to the floor. If you're modifying it, it is a beginner's class. Just go off the knees, get your chest to the floor. If you need to modify it even more, regress that even more, go off the wall and press the chest in. Okay, we're on to sit up next. So we're touching the floor, 
Two to the toes. Last 10 seconds. All the way to the top each time. Sliders. In for your ankles. At the side of your body. Right down. Keeping the arms straight. You're not bending those elbows. Keep it nice and straight. Onto mountain climbers next. Knees in under the body. Press up position. Keep the knees off the floor. And bring them in under your body. Left and right, they're alternating. Okay, we're on to a side plank. Side plank, you're just straight up. Keep those hips off the floor. Hold a nice straight line from under your armpits all the way down to your ankles. <coughs> Don't let your hips sunk to the floor. Keep the line straight. Nice and controlled. You're going to do 30 seconds on this side and switch. Okay, opposite side, same idea, straight line from underneath the armpits down as far as your ankles. Try to let the hip uh, drop in the middle, keep it straight up. Right there guys, 10 more seconds and that will be the first round done. Okay, round two, blue bridge again. Get ready to start. We're going to go in three, two, one. And off we go. So you've got a 10 second break between rounds there. So this is round two. Same idea as round one, you can do it as reps, or you can hold at the top. It's entirely up to yourself. If you want to do reps, you can do the reps as well. 10 seconds to go, squeeze those glutes at the top, push the hips towards the ceiling. Okay, arm butterflies, I'm going to show you from the sides first this time. Arms are straight, knees are coming in, do it nice and controlled, keep the feet together. So there's no bending of the elbows, we're not doing this, we're holding those arms out straight. Like I said, if you want to work the hip flexors, hold them dead straight, arms dead straight, you don't need to bring the knees in, and that'll just get that little extension you're looking for on the hips. Keep the heels off the floor. Okay, onto the plank. Back up, knees off the floor, shoulders and hips level. Nice and controlled. So what we're looking for tonight in any of these exercises is just taking your time, really getting really good technique. So you're really focusing on getting the technique correct. Shoulders and hips are level, tense in the tummy, no bum up in the air. Okay, flutter kicks. Hands underneath the lower back if you like. Keeping the legs straight, close together, and we're not bending the knees. Ten more seconds. Okay, we're on to press ups. So I'll show you from the side this time. You're looking for your hands to be in line with the shoulders, not ahead or not behind. Get that chest to the floor. Okay. Modify this one knee, make sure chest gets to the floor, or you can go two knees. 
bring it back to the full body. Okay? Then we're on sit ups. So, like I said in the last round, you can lock those toes in underneath the couch beside you if you need to. Or you can just keep your two feet together, overhead, touch the toes each time. Okay, sliders next. Nice and straight, even for the ankles. Don't lift your head too high, you don't want to be putting a strain on the neck either. Okay, mountain climbers. We're almost finished round two. We've got mountain climbers and side plank off both sides. Knees under the body on the mountain climbers. It's press up position, shoulders and hips are level. Knees in under the body. underneath the armpits, keep the hip off the floor, keep it nice and straight, you'll find it's working your obliques at the sides, okay, alternative to this would be a Russian twist, or the sliders can also do it as well for you, just hold it up at the top, okay, up to the side, Try and switch straight away because you've only got the 30 seconds. So don't waste too much time changing over on these, okay? Nice straight line. 15 seconds to go. When the time is up, you'll have a 10 second break and then we'll be on the last round. Okay, take your 10 seconds out, last round. But everything is this round now. We've got the techniques to so just work as hard as we can for the last five minutes, okay? Do bridge first, straight up. Like I said in round one and two, it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. Do it as reps, which is up and down, or do it as a hold with your heels on the floor but your toes are up. And push those hips towards the ceiling. The higher you push, the more you feel it on your glutes. Ten more seconds to go. Well done guys, keep going. Okay, arm butterflies, straight ahead. Arms are locked out straight. Knees are coming in. Keep the arms locked out. Okay, plank next, knees are off the floor, shoulders and hips are level. It's good guys, keep holding that position. 10 more seconds to go. Okay, flutter kicks are next. Alternating, keeping those heels off the floor. Press up next. Okay, hands are in line with the shoulders. Get that chest to the floor. Modification, one knee or two knees. 
Chest always has to go to the floor. Let's take guys five more seconds. 